Good day, welcome to Vaughn TV. I'm Michael G. Bunny Tadabas. We're back. Um, we did season two, so this is episode two of season two. Okay, have you been watching our Vaughn TV I episodes? Have. Religiously. Okay, I'm, good. Every, every week I get them. <laughs> We're here with Al from Alico. Alico is one of our leading under cabinet uh, lighting suppliers. Um, we just had a promo with the 120s. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about the low voltage ones as well, which we're currently running. We've got a promo on those. Right. Um, first off, in the background, Mark, we got this. This is the actual system back here. It is. Okay. That is our high low um, Z light, mm -hmm. 12 volt under cabinet. Mm -hmm. This is the one that we first made our bones with. Yeah. Um, Alico was probably the first company to use a xenon sourced lamp as opposed to halogen. What's the benefit with xenon? Well, xenon actually it's it's a warmer color temperature. Mm -hmm. Now, for the folks that aren't you know, don't really know what color temperature is. It's, it's a little closer to an incandescent light mm -hmm. as opposed to our halogen, which gives us a much cooler, brighter, crisper kind of light. Now, in most of our, our um, kitchen applications, you want to warm it up a bit simply because um, you don't get the reflection, you don't get, the, you don't get that stark, you don't get that glare. Yeah, especially if you've got a dark surface. Exactly. Oh, okay. yeah, you see every lamp. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so you're saying Xeon would be better for that application? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Plus, it runs about a third cooler than halogen, so. Okay. Lasts um, longer, burn cooler. It, well, yeah, it, it, essentially the lamp itself is about a 10,000 hour lamp. Yeah. Now, the beauty of that is that. Which a regular puck lay, mm, w with those little JC bulbs, those 20 watt peanut bulbs, yep. you're getting away. Those are halogen, you probably, if you're lucky, you get about 700, 750. Yeah, exactly. You no, know, but the, the, the deal is with the xenon, um, it's still warm, it's mm -hmm. not as warm or as hot as a halogen, um, but it will still, over a period of time, melt the butter on that bottom shelf. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff on the, in the market under cabinet lights. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Alico obviously dominates the market, in my opinion. I think you guys have a great line. Much appreciated. What makes it so special about this system here? Like in, you're bringing power right, right into the yeah, fixture. Well, it's okay. built right in. Uh, a couple of things. Number one, um, for the folks that don't like the, the individual puck lights and that type of an affair, all of the in in. Uh, well, okay. What's okay? Puck lights are great and everything. Uh, Sorry to interrupt. Puck lights are great. Yeah. But what's the problem with puck lights? You're not getting that consistent light. Well, right? there's that, and there's also a lot more cutting. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. it, it, in, in fact, it becomes a more expensive installation because there's cutting and fitting and so on and so forth. You got a bunch of different pieces. You got to put a yeah. transformer. Mm -hmm. This, you're literally bringing power right into the fixture. Yep. Transformers right? built in. Yeah. So let's say you got 26 inches. You're putting in the closest size. Yep. Um, what are the sizes again on the nine design? inch? You got your nines. 17s. Yep. 26, mm -hmm. 35s, and 48s. Okay. Now. A little interesting fact yeah. is Alico is probably one of, I, I don't think there's more than a couple of manufacturers that make a 48 inch. Okay. So. Yeah, I know it's a lot of people stop at like three feet, mm -hmm. 35 yeah, inches. Yeah, 35, 36 yeah. is nominal. So yeah. Okay. So we do a 48 all the way up. Now, so just what, explain the system quickly. You're bringing power right into power it. Power right into the, into the transformers. So it's like literally a five minute install. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it comes complete with its own uh, uh, knockout. Uh, it's got special knockouts in them with the screwdriver so you don't have to hammer it. Yeah. They just pop out. Um, power comes in. The, the beauty of the system is whether it's a 9, a 17, 26, all the way up to the 48, mm -hmm. the lamps are spaced exactly the same. And if you buck so you these consistent together, light. you get consistent light all yeah. the way across. Um, it comes complete with a swing down, if I can just show you real quickly. Can you zoom? And you're zooming, right? Season two, yeah, we're actually doing the, the zooms. Zoom going on. So that'll drop down just like that. Now, yep. for ease of Quick installation. Quick lamp replacement. For ease of installation, there's captive screws. Mm -hmm. um, the unit just pops up. It's actually a one man job. So once the cable's ready to go, pop it in, away they go. Quick, easy, long Quick, lasting. Easy. Yep. Um, we use the, the, the transformers that we that are supplied for us. Um, our manufacturer, our vendor, has given us a really good deal on transformer life. So we warranty our transformers in all of our uh, low voltage systems for five years. Five years, yep. and everything's fully dimmable. Yep. Okay, using electronic, Stand magnetic, no, just a well, standard dimmer. <laughs> it really depends on on the dimmer salesman that you're talking to. Yeah. Yeah. It's low voltage, so they they do prefer mm -hmm. a low voltage dimmer. Although a good quality. Uh, line voltage unit works just okay. as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to say Lutron since we're a yeah, Lutron absolutely. supplier. I, I, yeah, yeah, Lutron's always been very, very good with our product. Okay. So then we came out with the second up, that was number one. Mm -hmm. Second up was our was our Z line, and this yep. came as a, as, a, as a result of requests a lot from the US for some reason down there. The contractors do not like transforms, low voltage in any form. Mm -hmm. So we, we came up with a system, same, the new footprint. Same look? Yep, mm -hmm. basically. Now I noticed you got a different color there. 
This is yeah. This is stainless. It comes in white. White is probably the most the most uh, standard. Yeah, it is. Right. It's our it's our number one seller. For but you can get it in stainless. Stainless. You can also right. get it in, in uh, oil rub bronze. Bronze. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So go on. So <clears throat> again, I'm just going to move this. Same sort of idea. Although there's no transformers. Yeah. In. So it's a lot less expensive. Now the only drawback is it runs a lot hotter. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, now, obviously there's a catch, right? Well, it's if it's you're not a, using the transformer, there's something that's going to. It's 120 volt ramp. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Straight plug-in. However, the, uh, because it's 120, you're going to get a lot warmer runoff. Mm -hmm. And now, it's not going to last as long. No, the lamp life is probably about 750 to 1,000 hours. Okay, so a typical puck light now. Absolutely. So with the low voltage system, which mm -hmm. in my opinion is a great Z system, light? you're getting how many hours of lamp life? Well, we've had, I mean, we've, we normally look at it at around 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours. Yeah. And then 120 volt, you're getting 750 yeah, to 1,000. Yeah, 750 to 1,000. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But same system, same color down temperature, system. Yeah, same mm -hmm. idea, yeah. same ease of installation, same high-low switching. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, again, it's, it becomes a case of... For contractors, a great system. Cost-effective mm -hmm. and has all those benefits of that luxury type of uh, installation, it. right? Absolutely. Custom homes, low voltage. Yeah, that's probably where we shine the most. I yeah. mean, we don't, we don't, as a rule, usually do a lot with travel homes simply because it's not in their budget. Yeah. When they're ready to upgrade, then this is where they come to. Great. Last one. Well, actually, we've got two more. Yeah, we do have two more. Now um, you, well, what we you guys are coming up with your LED system now. Yeah, this, this, was, this is the 9 inch, again in the white. This has the same footprint as the Z line, but it has driver built in, and it will LED. have an array as opposed to a lamp. Mm -hmm. Now, each one of these arrays, again, it's the same spacing. Uh, each one of these arrays will actually outperform an 18 watt Xenon lamp. Can we just show them? Yep. Or you, you got go. the zoom on that? Those arrays are also replaceable. Okay. They're plug and play. So this, screws, if it goes or the fact whatever, you just take yeah. that off and put a new one in. Yep. Um, color temperature? 3K. 3K. Yep. So it's consistent, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And because I know there's a lot of lower quality LEDs. I got the Tatarok family in the back. Um, <laughs> we're going to give you guys a shout out after. Um, there's a lot of lower quality LEDs where you actually get inconsistent light levels. Absolutely. Right? Well, not or not so much light levels, colors. Color, light right? Level. So it'll be blue, white, yellow, yeah. all from the same package, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. now how... how in terms of how have you guys gone, let me open this for a minute, okay. of correcting that. Well, again, it, it, all, it all comes down to uh, spending a little extra money on, on your vendor for the, for the emitters. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's everything, uh, we can go right down to the, the, where LEDs first came from, which was from the Canadian Tire, you know, the, uh, the Christmas lights, which yeah. was out about five or six years ago. Um, to, from that quality, it's grown to this. So, I mean, it's, it's changing so quickly now that, um, I mean, there's there's stuff on the horizon where you don't need drivers, it's all line voltage. The, yeah. the, the color consistency is getting better and better and better. So with um, you, you guys are there, basically. Absolutely, yeah. We, we, I mean, we, we don't use, um, like we support uh, Cree and a couple of the other mm -hmm. vendors, or, or our vendors for the emitters. So quality LED. Yeah, absolutely. So that, that means our, our product is not the least yeah. expensive out there. But for your contractors, uh, but if you're, if you're talking LED anyway, you don't want cheap. No, right? well, you don't no. want to go crazy. But you want something. If you obviously you're talking LEDs, you want this, something quality. Yeah, this this piece here represents about a twenty to twenty five percent increase as mm -hmm. far as costing goes over our. Which makes sense. You're going yeah. to LED, right? You're getting a quarter of the energy. Absolutely. And well, what's the easy. lamp life on those yeah. things? Lamp life again. We 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 don't know. We haven't. Uh, we have but, no empirical. But you know, that everyone say twenty thousand, fifty thousand. Yeah, you're probably close to fifty. Because yeah. again, it all comes down to the venting and making sure that the, that, the, that the heat transfer is done well. And these things run, these are probably the coolest running mm -hmm. ones I've ever And if you're using it for under cabinet lighting, that's pretty much like 30 years because the amount of time, oh, you know, yeah. the duration and night you use it, a couple hours on. The customer, in, in a residential application, the customers will, they'll, they'll be renovating their kitchen before they have yeah. any issues with the yeah. uh, replacing anything. Now, the other, the other hook on this whole thing here is the, the, uh, because of the way that the LED systems have, have grown now, yeah. this the next version of this, and was just on the workbench, is a fully dimmable system. Okay. But not not a cheap and cheerful one. This is going to be like a, yeah. a full This is product. dimmable or non dimmable? It right will now. be as soon as it, we're just in the process. So of the, the new version will yeah. be dimmable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's. What I still think right now that the the low voltage, the twelve volt, mm -hmm. the Z light is a great system. It's well, like I say, it's it's been out there. Good heavens. Almost 15 years now. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's, it's quick. It's great for contractors and great for custom homes. Yeah, absolutely. So you, you yeah. got that nice balance. We put on. it out. We put it out there. It's one of those products that goes out. It stays out. It's proven um, time and time again. I mean, yeah. People love it. How are we doing on time, by the way? 
10 minutes, really. Okay, we gotta wrap this up. Okay. We'll try to make the segment shorter. Real quick. Okay, uh, last this one. Is the latest, this is the latest and greatest. Uh, this is for, for, now for pucks. Again, we, a lot of guys don't like them. But I brought this along just to show you most of the LED systems that you see out there today are 350 milliamp, 1.2 watts per mm -hmm. emitter. Um, they're great, they're getting better, so on and so forth. They're becoming much more useful yeah. as far as illuminance goes. This is a 700 milliamp emitter married to a 700 milliamp driver. And I'll just throw the key on it. Oops. So this is a brand new system. Brand spanking new called Polaris. Okay. And what's the wattage on this thing? That's a full three watts. Full three watt yeah. system, puck light. You got that? Milliamps. Right, a recess into your cabinet? Yep. Right, so it basically sits flush. Yep. And it'll put out, it puts out, uh, it'll outperform the LED arrays in here by about twice Yeah. than anything else that's out in the field right now. So yeah, yeah. we're really excited about this. No, it looks like a cool system. I'm personally not a big fan of puck lights, <laughs> but if anyone's going to perfect the puck light system, it's going to be a legal. We're, we're, we're counting on it. Oops. There right. Go. Yeah. Now I noticed you put a pin in. Let's just explain oh, because a lot of people. Real they, quick, yeah. Yeah. That's, a lot yeah. of people. We're going to wrap this up. A lot of people buy LEDs and they don't need three. They don't need two. Yep. They only need one. Yep. Right. But now you got this harness system. Yep. Right. That you know, if you obviously use one, it's not going to work. That's right. right. Show it in here. A lot of contractors are shaking their going, yes, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's so continuity. And yes. in the LEDs, continuity rules uh, with all of the different ports. And this is a two port. We've got threes, fours, and sixes. Mm -hmm. and, and it needs to have all of the ports full or it just will not function. And bang, it works now. So, so basically, it. what's this doing? Just a quick little brief description. As far as that? Yeah, you, turn, you said continuity. Yeah, it's we'll go on. So it's acting like there's another load. Yeah, exactly. It's called, mm -hmm. a, it's called a continuity loop. Okay. Yeah. So you're basically closing the loop, you're so doing. you're providing yeah, you're power to the light. Just keeping, there's no open, there's yeah. no open. Uh, so if you only need one, you don't have to yeah. worry now about the exactly. whole issue. You got it. Okay, awesome. Al, thanks for coming. My um, pleasure. Aliko, you guys are dominating the under cabinet market. Much um, appreciated. Keep up, keep up the good work. Appreciate it. Thanks. Guys, we're going to send a newsletter out next week with the promo that we're still running with the Z-Lights, the low voltage system. Um, it's pretty much a week to two weeks left, um, and then that's pretty much it. Um, thanks. Mike from Von TV.